Welcome to the Ambien iPad. In this video, I'm going to use both the Mellotron and some sounds from the iPad Pro. For the Mellotron, I'll be using from the M400, two brass, two saxes, and eight voice choir. From the Mark I, I'll be using an organ. And on the iPad, I'll be using Ripple Maker, Hammerhead, and Beat Hawk, as well as some effects. The signal chain is the Mellotron M4000D Mini. Its mono output goes into a Boss volume pedal. That goes into a Boss RE202 Space Echo. The stereo output from the Space Echo goes into a Universal Audio Volt 276 interface, which then goes into the iPad Pro. I'm using AUM. In, in AUM, I've got two instances of Ripple Maker set up. Those are both triggered by Rosetta Baseline. I've got Beat Hawk for a few other synth lines and Hammerhead for drums. Let me walk through all the different sounds. I'm going to start with the Mellotron first, so we'll be using from the M400, two saxes, two brass, and the eight voice choir. And then from the Mellotron Mark I, I'll be using an organ. So let's start with uh, the sounds from the M400. Let me turn all the effects off so the space echoes off. I've got Grand Finale going just to give a little more oomph <laughs> to the sound and Spatializer to widen the stereo field. So this is two saxes, kind of clean. Two brass. And then the eight voice choir. Bum note, and then the church organ. Kind of like a, a, a Vox Continental or Farfisa, but you can hear there's, there's a bit of uh, reverb on that to begin with. So let's add in the effects. Let me go back to the saxes, which is what I'll be using for the loop. Again, this is clean. Whoops, got to move back over. Let's add Grand Finale and Spatializer. So you can hear a bit louder and certainly wider. And then if we add in the Space Echo, let's do that for the church organ. And um, I have this on manual setting, which essentially means that all the knobs here, uh, it's, that's what you get. So you can hear that kind of classic. Now, I've got the intensity set up a little high, so let me lower that. So you can hear you really don't get that. Almost self-oscillation. On this unit, between 130 and 2 uh, on the intensity knob, once you get up to 2, it will get into self-oscillation. I only say that because I use this a lot for sound-on-sound -sound looping, and I want to get the... I want the sound to degrade and the volume to go down as, as little as possible, and that's kind of between the 130 and 2, but this is, this is not a pristine delay by any stretch of the imagination, so the sound degrades regardless. Let's move on to... Turn that off. Let's move on to the iPad. So we've got two instances of Ripple Maker with bass line kind of triggering. Start with the one here on the right. And I've got this going through Audio Kits Rack Reverb. Just a really, really good straight ahead reverb. Turn the effects off and Spatializer. As you can hear, we got a mono sound. That's pretty good too. Just like getting a little more on the stereo field. And then our other one, just a little higher, tinkly, same thing. We've got the Rack Reverb. And spatializer. Let me go to the drums now. I'm using Hammerhead. Let me turn off this. Turn off Ripple Maker. Kind of a, you know, samples in here. You can make your own drum kit and then drum line. I, I usually don't use straight ahead drum lines like this, but um, it just sounds great. It fits the piece. And then finally, uh, on that, we're using Bleasis Reverb. No reverb. Still sounds great, but... 
and it sounds like too much reverb, but once you add in other instruments, that kind of dissipates. So you're still getting some of the reverb you can hear. Then we've got Beat Hawk. Let me turn the drums off. I created three patterns. Pattern two is just a variation on that. Beats, notes are on different beats. And then kind of a bridge transitional pattern. Let's go back to pattern one. And on this I've got, oops, let's turn all these off. <laughs> That's the straight, clean mono sound. I'm using F um, FAC's Maxima just to really get that th these louder and kind of in your face. Just gives it a bit more power. Then I'm using Even Tide Ultra Tap just for a little bit of delay. Gives it some reverb space too, as you can hear. And then I've never used this app before, Panflow, but it's actually really cool. Now I have this very subtle, so it's kind of going across. Let's add everything in. Let me turn on that. Just this bit will be going after a while, and then I would do some soloing on the two brass. Figure out where we are here. They gotta move that back to slot A. Okay, you get the idea. Let's turn that off. Whoops. So the only other thing I want to show, let me let me just get these. I do want to just uh, make a quick loop here. I, I've got so many videos now using this for looping, uh, but I, I do want to just demonstrate quickly what I plan on doing here. Let me get this over to, I've saved into uh, the memory slot for what is a six second delay. That's the most you can get out of this in long delay mode. Uh, but this is just very quickly what this would sound like, or will sound like. This is just going to be rough. It'll be a lot smoother in the jam. And that's a wrong note. <laughs> Turn that off, we can do some organ over it. And I can switch this over back to manual, that loop's still going. But because the intensity is kind of high, you're gonna you can hear that organ is kind of self-oscillating in the background, and then we can kind of turn that down, get that going. And that loop now will just fade into the background. And then I would just add the different parts, as you heard before, and then do soloing over it. So that's kind of a walk through all the different sounds and, and, and what the basic structure is. Let me get that going down there. Let me uh, reset everything, and uh, we'll do a jam here.
So a couple of the transitions there were a little rougher than I would have liked, but I've only got two hands and I'm trying to <laughs> manipulate a lot of different things as well as make sure that the settings on the, the Space Echo <laughs> aren't too crazy because it's easy to get into self-oscillation with that, even when you're just using it as a straight delay or an echo. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and good luck with your own music.